Today, I'm going to show you how to make some cool DIY back-to-school supplies. And I know, school, nobody nobody wants to talk about it. I go back to school on August 24th and August is almost here. The summer went by so fast and I have college applications and it, it just, childhood is slipping away like this, like, and I'm scared. <laughs> I know that nobody wants to do these back to school videos and I know it comes so early on YouTube but you'll be able to tackle those college applications if you're a senior like me or just tackle whatever grade you're going into if you're fully prepared and today I'm gonna this is what happens when it's raining outside and you get a flood warning not cool. These DIYs are inspired by our Urban Outfitters, Tumblr, and of course, Sherlock. This is also a collab with Ella Wheatley. Her video is going to be up a little bit later, but hold on for it and I promise you, it is going to be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to show you three awesome DIYs and one of them is this really cool marble notebook. The cover for this notebook was so darn ugly and I DIY'd it and it looks so cool and I am so I, I'm actually kind of looking forward to using this notebook for school. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> but seriously, if you guys want to know how to make this, make a Sherlock-inspired DIY notebook because Sherlock is fake. Or some other cool DIYs, just keep on watching. To create this DIY marble notebook, you're going to need some marble paper. I just simply printed out a marble design on two regular pieces of paper. Next, you'll need a ruler, some scissors, good old Mod Podge, and an old notebook you don't mind on revamping. I really didn't like the cover of this old notebook, so I decided to marbleize it, which yes, it is a word now. First, I placed a sheet of paper inside of my notebook to protect my pages, and then I applied some Mod Podge to the cover of the notebook. And then I carefully applied my marble paper and the trick to avoid air bubbles is to take a ruler and to smooth out the paper as you glue it on. And then in the corners, I simply cut out squares or rectangles so that when I fold my paper in, it will be cleaner. Open your cover and then apply Mod Podge to the flaps. Then take a ruler and smooth out any air bubbles. Easy peasy. To make sure I had a clean spine, I folded my paper over and then cut slits where the corners of the spines were. And then I applied Mod Podge to the rest of the paper making sure to avoid the slits and then smoothed it over to have a clean spine like this. Now just tuck in your flaps, apply some Mod Podge and glue them down. As for the middle flap, simply open up your notebook and tuck in the flap into the biting as shown here. This will make sure your notebook looks cleaner and simply repeat this for the other end of your spine. Now apply Mod Podge to the back of your notebook and then carefully place your paper on. You guys are probably pros at this by now so simply take your ruler and smooth out any air bubbles. Next, cut the squares in the corners of your notebook and then apply some Mod Podge and glue down your flaps. And now your notebook went from this to this awesome DIY marble notebook. For our next DIY, we're going to create this friggin awesome Sherlock inspired notebook. I used this odd looking notebook that had this square cut out in the cover but you guys can always cut out a square from the front cover of your notebook using an X-Acto knife. And my notebook did have some words over here but I simply painted them. Want your notebook cover to be black for this DIY and here I'm just adding some final touches to the paint. Next, I took this printout of I am Sherlock quote, which I totally am, and simply aligned it in the front of my cover to my liking. Next, taking some Mod Podge, I glued the I am Sherlock quote inside my cover. Now, if you have a regular notebook, you can just glue on the print to the cover of your notebook, but I thought the square added a really cool effect. Now you're done!
For our third DIY, we're going to create this summerish pencil holder for our desk because summer is not quite over guys and we can still celebrate. So I just took this clear container that my mom gave me and I added some fake grass bedding that actually was part of an Easter DIY. And to add a summery vibe, I added some fake flowers. Then I added my DIY essentials like my scissors, my X-Acto knife, and some pencils and pens. Now you are done guys! Enjoy that video if you did make sure to give this a big old thumbs up because i would like to know if you guys like this video also tell me what day or date you guys are going back to school so we can all sob over how fast the summer has gone also tell me which diy was your favorite if you make any recreations make sure to tag with the hashtag spirit of diy and post it on twitter and instagram because i would love to see and stalk your faces oh my gosh it's raining so badly thank god the heat is finally gonna go away the humidity was killing me like <sighs> but anyway i'm babbling i should definitely go down i'm getting weird uh, i will see you guys in the next video and until then Bring it back like she loves something. Bring it, bring it back like she loves.